Alright, what's up everybody, Nocturne here and today we'll be watching the Genshin Impact version 3.7 special program. Now, you notice we aren't really going along with the actual broadcast. That's because I don't wanna do that type of shit anymore since there's ads, it could potentially ruin the reactions, and I don't know. Most of the time, their special program, their live stream is finicky. Most of the times, there's stuff that goes wrong. I, I really fear that this is gonna be yet another filler patch because they just released a new area from the desert. So this is just gonna be another minigame impact type of shit that they're gonna release here. Other than that though, I think, I think we should uh, continue. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Whoa! You must be the legendary traveler! I've heard a lot about you! I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. I've Wait, been posted here to Charlotte? Cover the King Wait. of Invocations Grand Prix. Why do you look like Yanfei so much? I honestly that. don't give a shit nice about the it, no? TCG anymore. It's just a working title for now. So, if it's more Any TCG, eh. Salt, right? hmm? Trailer. Do my ears deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Wow! Oh hell no, nah. is the Cards new minigame gonna be about TCG? Oh, very interesting. Oh See on the no. teams with talent in TCG tournaments as young prodigy best Favonian cavalry captain. I don't like it. Down on the ground, the dice spin around. While high in the sky, the sun shines bright. Alright. <laughs> Say your piece, challenger. No. Kazuha, humbly accept this duel. Inesu no. Bolts her way to the semifinals, only to be stunned by a crafty opponent. No. <laughs> the nerve, saying that in the presence of me and A. Lightning from Inazuma won't This be better not be just card game, games. Right? You must be tired. I like her design, though. Sure. Perhaps I should let you go first. If this red tofu with all the Arara? things hasn't gotten too cold, I would be happy to play. Tournament. The tournament has already finished. Fuck that! I used forbidden hand at the opportunity. I hate this mini game, bro. Rest assured, there's no destination I can't deliver to. Thank you for choosing Comania Express. What is her weapon? Full arm? She doesn't even have a weapon to display. But she's a dungeon shielder. I don't know what her weapon is. Oh no, please don't let it be. Wow. Just TCG so, impact. This is Sumeru? There are so many huge mushrooms here. They're big enough to lie on. <laughs> There's quite this a does lot not going look on good. in the picture here. Get ready to oh, embark on the genius invocation TCG journey. Game. Next, we have Zero Hour Invocation, which is an unofficial tournament organized for our passionate TCG players. Unlike Fuck the official that, tournament man. matches, Fuck this, this format match. adopts I a hate special this. rule set. Uh, I think finally, something else. Played, use the suppressive finally, I thought it was gonna be all card games. Rewards also oh look, there's a, a new weapon. Star bow called Ibis Piercer. All right, Along I don't know what this. Oh, is does that mean Karara's uh, hey, bow user? So exciting! What can we expect to see in the new update then? I don't so care. Upcoming, what'll be different about I this mode? I just don't care, man. This mode, all about TCG. Why is it all TCG? I fucking hate it, man. They released the new game mode, right? Like, a faster paced one. I still don't give a shit. Kirara is a Dendro Element Sword user and can effectively assist her companions while sword. also making world exploration okay. more efficient. Additionally, her exploration talent allows her to move near birds or other smaller animals without startling them. Timmy should watch his back. Oh, <laughs> not Timmy! No! Yes, Timmy! What do you mean climbing okay, speed? Um, climb that using that? useful. So just so I can get this straight, she'll be able to just climb straight up walls? Oh, yeah, oh. she'll be able to go straight up a vertical surface in this stage. That's helpful um, for exploration. Here. Okay. I'm probably I only totally gonna do. play this if the stinker. feedback <laughs> is good. Because okay, so, I am so, so tired been wasting my time, time now, in and story Nia quests has been wanting to go out just for it to be centered world. around In version 3.7, the second act is going to remember oh, look, that we're today's reporters. Yeah, Miko again. What? Oh, a 
According to reliable sources, the first and half Kirara of the is on their band. Wishes, they do her so dirty again. Want Kirara might want to take note. And, and the second half. Yeah, of they did. Oh my wishes, God! We'll the whole universe has no mercy. Oh my God! That might guy again. They're each it's all the most the annoying enemies. Eon Blight piled into and one. The Bethesda Bishop heard respectively. Minigame. Travelers can so maybe some of you remember Jammy, the Sumeru researcher who was struggling with his thesis proposal. I well, don't. This, how did you all enjoy being on the program today? This one seems ass, oh bro. My gosh, not gonna so, lie, so not gonna cool go sugarcoat it. It seems ass. To Total ass. Alright, what is this supposed to be? Fontaine? Fontaine sneak peek? Better be. Yeah, that's definitely Fontaine right there. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. Alright, now this is hype right here. The traveler can finally swim under fucking water. That is good right there. That is fucking good. Honestly, that is the only thing that's making me continue forward. That is the only thing that motivates me to keep pushing through the game. Like I said, at the very beginning of this... I was really scared it would be some minigame impact yet again. Like, can Ho can Hoyoverse not fucking do something really significant to revive the different areas and locations in the map? Like, holy shit, instead of focusing your resources on trying to think of other minigames, on trying to come up with minigames that are unique, minigames that are new finding new ways of boring why can't they just put like a quest make a mini quest since they like making mini quests per area like at least put some type of quest in a previous area that we've already explored to give that area a purpose a new purpose because right now the only purpose it has is for daily commissions other areas don't even have daily commissions appearing in those locations anymore so instead of trying to do some shit like this why not just add quests i mean how fucking hard is it to do something like that on the dead zones in the game i just don't understand why koyoverse doesn't give a shit anymore about this game the only major patches and updates that are left with this game are the area expansions as well as the Archon quests. Because other than that, when you cut the Archon quests back, it's just all filler. There's nothing in the game anymore. Nothing substantial. Nothing I could give a shit about. And it just makes me kind of unmotivated to do this 3.71. It's just all mini games. There's a lot of them. But I don't give a damn about any of them. I understand the issue that other people have now. The only thing that I think could bring this uh, patch up from its rear is Yoimiya's story quest. The Yoimiya story quest could potentially pull it if it is really really good. But if it's just okay then holy shit this is another dead patch might be worse than 3.6 honestly because 3.6 at least this current patch has a new area you could explore and grind so there's entertainment value in that but for here sure they have a new character sure they have Kirara going out here but I don't know she seemed kind of boring when they showed her playstyle she's good for exploration but she seems kind of boring. All she does is put a shield and throw away a, a gift box that sprouts out Denjo. But that's it. <sighs> I don't know. I just, I just don't see myself really becoming engaged with this particular patch. And I don't know. Seems like Genshin Impact is going at a downward spiral. But I'm not saying that people won't play it. People will still come to this game. But the only statement I'm making is that I feel like with this, it could draw the line. 
or it could be the final straw that can be drawn in order to break the camel's back and by the camel's back i mean the veterans the old time players of this game a lot have a lot of them have already left but all the other ones that are hanging on there this could be the one that, that could force them to quit uh but me i'm going to keep hanging on i'm not gonna try to go too much into the game i'm not gonna try and grind it 24 7 i'm just gonna touch it when it needs to be touched that sounds wrong but what i mean by that is i'm gonna play the mini games when they're there when they're all available i'm gonna do all of them in one day and just leave the game as is because there's nothing to do right now barely anything the time the hype goes back into me might be when fontaine gets released because holy shit this part right here this last part they show a tidbit here where you could swim underwater that is really really nice that is really interesting to me and that is what uh keeps me fueled I'm really curious now to see what the rest of Fontaine looks like, what the main village of Fontaine looks like, what the main city is, and what the other factors are. What fresh gameplay could they bring with this new element into the game? I think I've ranted way too long now, so I'm gonna end it there. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, everyone.